Today we are talking about an everyday object. Over 1 billion of them exist in the world and every year another 80 million are produced. In Switzerland every second person has one and there are over 6 million in total. As you could probably see from the title of this video, we are talking about cars and more specific the well-known brand BMW. BMW stands for Bayerische Motorenwerke or in English Bavarian Motor Works and was founded by Karl Rupp and Franz Joseph Popp in 1913. Originally they produced airplane engines but that's no longer the case. The Munich car manufacturer is well known for its sporty and luxurious cars and motorcycles. The BMW Group is also in possession of Mini and Rolls Royce and the subbrands BMW M and BMW i, which we will talk about later. The company is one of the largest businesses in Germany with a total revenue of 94.2 billion euros in 2016, employing over 130,000 people. Therefore, BMW is one of the biggest car manufacturers in the world, with a total output of 2.36 million cars every year. This means the Bavarian Motor Works and its sub-brands are one of the most important in the world. On average, a person in Switzerland travels 37 kilometers a day and two-thirds of the people move around by car. Automobiles and driving them are strictly regulated by the government, for instance, correct lights, seat belts, emission controls, tread depth, a valid driving license and so on, are mandatory to guarantee a safe use. The famous German car manufacturing company has an astonishing 12,000 suppliers spread all over the globe. The majority of their purchased raw materials come from Europe, mainly from Germany, because most of their production and assembly units are located there. Furthermore, it provides goods from trusted suppliers in the proximity, which not only ensures the quality, but also lowers the logistic costs. Despite operating mostly in Europe, BMW has suppliers in other regions, such as Asia, Africa and also the two Americas. Most of the manufacturing is carried out in Europe, particularly in Germany. When choosing suppliers, the first step for the BMW Group is to assess and identify risks using a specific filter in order to detect any possible liabilities. These may include social factors such as child labor, for example. The second step is the conduct of self-assessment, where questionnaires are filled out to prove sustainability in terms of human rights, environmental damage, etc. After taking these measures and checking the quality of the materials, the goods are transported to the BMW production sites to manufacture the products. There are three different ways for the finished products to reach their customers. The first option is a direct sale from the company to the customers in Munich. Another option is to sell their products through dealers, where the Bavarian Motor Works send their cars to other regions for local distribution. The third option is to sell the cars through distributors, including RDC, which are responsible for checking the product's conditions, such as car tire pressure. BMW has been one of the first car manufacturing companies to introduce an environmental standard in order to ensure sustainable surroundings for the future. One important goal for the car manufacturing company is to ensure a clean production in the coming years, which includes reducing the used resources, avoiding unnecessary emissions and waste, as well as taking the environment into consideration when choosing locations to expand their production. Due to the resource efficiency, BMW was able to save around $158 million since 2006. Another main goal of BMW in the environmental sector is to achieve a 100% rate in renewable sources to power their factories. The production sites are already mostly relying on renewable sources. The majority of the energy is produced from wind and hydropower energy sources. Therefore, BMW wants to achieve a reduction of environmental footprints during the manufacturing. As well as that, water is the most crucial resource used during the production. Therefore, BMW are currently working with closed water cycles and wastewater-free water processes. BMW 
is involved in many programs that encourage social sustainability, as well as showing their social commitment. The car company is recognized for their involvement in programs such as promoting interculturality and innovation, contributing to social mobility and inclusion, experiencing mobility and sustainability, teaching road safety, inspiring the next generation of engineers, and taking responsibility for the society as well as the environment. BMW currently has 130,000 employees in 140 different countries. Furthermore, BMW encourages a diverse workforce, which helps to broaden the employee's intercultural competence. An example of that would be the production sites in Germany, which have 118 different nationalities working together. BMW provides workplaces from the processing of raw materials all the way to retailers selling the cars. The employees give mixed reviews about the working conditions in the factories. On the one hand, employees enjoy working together with competent colleagues, receive an interesting insight in the company, are surrounded by assistance and support when needed, and there is a good work-life balance. On the other hand, employees complain about the work itself being very repetitive, especially when working in production lines. In addition, some employees complained about their wages being low and having bad working hours. The current CO2, methane, carbon monoxide emissions and nitrogen oxides, which are mainly produced by diesel engines, lead to strict measurements in order to minimize the fast-paced destruction of our planet and mankind. The latest law created by the European Union is called the Euro 6 standard. By the way, this law is also active in Switzerland and some other European countries not included in the EU. Earlier we had the Euro 5, 4 and so on standards. Every vehicle has to follow a variety of laws concerning emission controls for hydrocarbons, nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxides, etc. etc. per driven kilometer. The limitation of CO2 emissions is not included in this law, but instead is regulated by the so-called Flottenverbrauch policies. Currently, cars are allowed to have a maximum CO2 output of 130 grams per kilometer, and until 2020, this number is going to shrink to 95 grams per kilometer at most. Those stricter laws may seem useful and necessary, however, they also have their downsides. The value of a used diesel car decreases, which leads to a loss of money for the owner. Car manufacturers are also forced to downsize their engines, less displacement and cylinders, which might have a negative influence in the eye of a car enthusiast. The times of glorious sounding and performing natural aspirated V8s and V10s, for example, will soon be gone completely. So going from this to this. On the one hand, cars provide an increased standard of living and personal freedom because they provide many opportunities and accessibilities. We must not forget that the combustion engine has greatly improved over the last decades and is, generally speaking, a great invention that saved many lives. For example, Imagine you have an emergency. It would not be possible to reach the hospital in time when just using a carriage pulled by horses. On the other hand, it is a well-known fact that the average vehicle with a combustion engine, especially diesel motors, are bad for the environment. In recent years, emission scandals like the one concerning Volkswagen showed insights to the damage caused by carbon emissions and the poisonous nitrogen oxides. BMW is one of the predecessors of being a good example for the other car manufacturers. They are one of the greenest and environmental friendliest car companies in the world. Not only are their emissions kept to a reasonable level, but they have also introduced a series of fully electric or hybrid cars. The Mission I guarantees further electric models in the very near future with the introduction of the i4 and i5. Also, components especially from the i3 lineup are recycled to a big extent, 
which improves the resource efficiency. However, at the moment electricity is not a completely green solution. Battery packs need a large amount of lithium and are fairly heavy. They also have to be exchanged every 4 to 8 years. In addition, electric cars are often recharged with non-sustainable energy sources such as power plants. What could possible solutions be to minimize emissions harming the environment? The reduction of time and distance traveled on the road will have a positive impact on reducing car emissions. This includes using alternative transportation in your local surroundings. If the weather is nice, use a bike or simply walk to work, which also helps building those legs you have always wanted. Introduce a more advanced public transportation system, especially in countryside regions. This includes having a more frequent timetable in order to cover all needs. This leads to a more efficient travel since multiple people use the same vehicle. New emission norms like the Euro 6 standard have had a positive result and need to be continued in the future. A norm such as an introduction of stricter policies that make sure your vehicle is in a good condition would be helpful in reducing the car emissions. For example, under inflated tires which cause more friction and therefore an increased fuel consumption. As well as that, leaks and cracks in the exhaust system lead to a higher emission output. Try to use cars in an efficient way. Make sure you're not traveling alone in your big SUV all the time. How about sharing your car with others and even make some money? Yes, companies such as Blablacar provide a cheap and greener travel for people. This allows drivers to pick up some passengers and thus creating a ride sharing to a certain destination. This way cars are used more efficiently. The further investment in the concept of electric cars is a great solution for the future in order to try and find a more suitable production for the batteries. Innovation regarding sustainability is growing in importance, especially in the car industry, all around the world. Not only to improve the current environmental issues, but also to provide a basis for the satisfying demands of the future. Hence, BMW is strongly driving in the right direction. As a large car manufacturer, they are a good example for others due to their contribution in the social and environmental sector.